see what is the meaning of the network. So the network is nothing but it's a uh, the circuit. So it is a consists of the circuit. It may be the closed loop or times, and it may be the open circuit sometimes. So we so it contains the, some of the circuit elements are there. So it may be the the sources. We are going to have the sources will be there, and the resistance will be there, and the capacitance. Sectors and uh, many of the practical sources will be there, and uh, the things it will be you're going to consider as the the network you are going to call here. So usually the network will be considered as some of the the black box you are going to consider here. This is called as a the network we are going to call, or it is going to call it as a circuit we are going to call. So this is a circuit. For that one, we are going to connect the uh, the voltage or the current source you are going to connect, and across this one something called as a the load will be connected to the network here. Uh, Connect. So this is a uh, load. Maybe the any resistor, capacitor. Uh, you're going to consider source. You're going to connect here. So this is a network of the circuit we are going to call, which consists of the series parallel combination of the resistance, capacitor, whatever it is. You're going to call the source. You're going to uh, give the the input to the source. You're going to call this one as the excitation. You're going to call. So means you're going to excite the circuit elements by transferring the the voltage or current to the network. And this one you're going to call it as a response. You're going to call here. You're going to call it as a response. So it is similar to the example. As soon as we are going to switch on the uh, switch on, the light is going to glow. Uh, when you're going to switch on, the fan is going to rotate. So this is an example of the excitation and the response here. We are going to excite the circuit elements by supplying the power source and uh, the respond. We are going to find out the uh, we are going to find out the current in the circuit, or we are going to find out the the voltage across the circuit. We are going to find out. So that one. Uh, we are going to be called as a source and the excitation. So usually in the we are going to have the uh, circuit here. We have the different types of uh, uh, concepts are there. Let us look into some of the basic components. The circuit elements you are going to call the circuit elements. So in the circuit, many elements will be there or many concept, uh, many parts will be there. So the circuit elements is a thing, but the, uh, it's an element or it's an individual electrical component. It may be the resistor or it may be the capacitor, or it may be the inductor in the network, or even it may be the voltage source or it may be the current source. So these things we are going to call it as a, the circuit elements you are going to consider. So in the network, these are the circuit elements you are going to consider where the different types of networks are there. And the other important thing is the thing, but the branch you are going to call. So another important one is called as a branch here. So in order to find out the branch, let me draw the consider the simple circuit diagram. So where we have the different uh, the circuit elements are there. Uh, we are going to consider the the simplest one. I am going to consider. So it consists of the the series combination of the uh, the resistance and uh, the voltage sources. We are going to have. So let us say this is nothing but the voltage source and this is the resistance R1, the resistance R2, R3. And this is the R4, and this is the called as a uh, the resistance which is called as a R5, and we have the the different uh, uh, nodes we are going to represent. I am going to call this one as the something called A, B, and this is the C, uh, D, and this is the E we are going to call here. So this is our simple circuit I consider where the, we have the voltage source followed by the readings here. So branch in the network is the TMAT. So between the so the network where the two or more circuit elements are joined, you are going to call that one as a node. We are going to call here node the point where the circuit elements are meet. We are going to call it as a node. We are going to call, and it is also called as a junction. We are going to call here sometimes. Uh, we are going to call it as a junction. The node is a point. So the node is a thing, but this is a point where the two circuit elements are connected. We are going to call it as a node. So this is also called as a node, or we can call it as a junction. Where the two or more circuit elements are connected, or it is called as a junction. We are going to call here. So two or more is called as a junction. We are going to call, and uh, one or two more than uh, two circuit elements. We are going to call it as a node. You are going to call. So node and junction uh, it, uh, does not matter. So we are going to call this as a node. We are going to consider where the two circuit elements are connected. This is another node, and this is another node. C is another node. So D is one more node, and D is another node here. So what we'll be doing is. So where the circuit between the the two nodes you are going to call it as the branch you are going to call here. So the circuit element between the the two nodes between the node A and B, which is called as a one branch here. So between B and C, we are the branch C and D, another branch E and D, and B and D. So these are the other branches we are going to call. So this is called as a the branch in the network we are going to call. And the very other important concept we are going to call it as a mesh we are going to call. Mesh we are going to call. So mesh is the thing, but 
the closed path in the network you are going to call it as a mesh you are going to call here this is one closed path and this is another closed path so example of the the mesh will be example for the mesh will be it is a b e a is the one uh, mesh here the closed path and this one is b c d e b so this is another one b c d e b uh, sorry uh, b c d e and uh, b BCDEB. So this is another mesh here. We are going to call it as a mesh, which is the closed path. So the one of the concept of the mesh is that this mesh cannot be further, cannot be broken into the another mesh. So this is the we need to consider for example for the mesh we are we need to consider here. So means so this is the one mesh. So this cannot further broken into the another simplest one. It is called as a mesh here. So this is another mesh you are going to call. And other one is there which is called as a loop you are going to call. Loop loop is the thing, but it is also the closed path. But uh, here the loop can be further broken down into the mesh. We can broken down here. For example, this uh, loop is called as a so A B C D E A is a one loop here. So A B C D E A is a one loop where we are going to have the complete path here. The other one is so this loop can be broken down into two meshes. We can broken down. And other one is uh, it is also called as a mesh here. So A B E A is also the mesh here. And other one B C D E B is also the other mesh we can call here. So these are the loops. These are the simple basic elements, which is a basic concept you are going to use. So based on this one, we are going to apply the many concept you are going to apply. So let me recall: circuit elements are nothing but the the resistors, capacitor, and inductor voltage. All those things are circuit elements. Branches between any two nodes you are going to call it as a branch. The junction is nothing but where the two or more circuit elements are connected is called a junction here. Node where the two or more circuit elements are connected as junction. Node and junction two or more circuit elements and the mesh is the closed path is the mesh which cannot be further broken down into the simplest one is called as a mesh here and loop is the thing but the it's a closed path we are going to call it as a loop you are going to call so these are some of the basic circuit elements which we are going to consider uh, in the network here and also we already come across some of the the basic formulas here so let me recall uh, the resistance uh, in the series and parallel components so we are, already we have come here so resistance connection. So the resistance uh, in series already we know this one. You already come across this one. The resistance which are connected in series R equal it will be equal to the. So it is sum of the all the resistance R1 plus R2. So up to the Rn we can call. And the resistance in parallel, the formula is. So already we know. So one by R equal it is equal to the. So one by R1 plus one by R2 plus one by R3. Plus so on up to the one by R. So this is the resistance in parallel, and uh, we have come across the uh, resistance in parallel resistance in series. And other one is that we come across the current division formula we have seen. So this is the current uh, division formula. So current division formula. So where we are going to divide the formula. So this is applicable when the circuit consists of the uh, the current source which is connected parallelly across the uh, two resistances. So this is the current division formula we are going to consider. So let us assume this is current called I, and the current will be uh, splitted here as the. Uh, so here the current will be splitted as I1, and here the current will be splitted as the I2, and this is the resistance R2, and this is the resistance R here. So the current uh, to any of the branch can be calculated as I1 is equal to the the total current I entering the branch that is I into the the resistance of the opposite branch, which is called as a R2. So divided by R1 plus R2. So like this, we can find out the current in the one branch that is equal to the the current entering the branch into the resistance of the opposite branch divided by the sum of the resistance. So similarly, we can find out for the the current I2. We can find out. So it is nothing but so I into the resistance of the opposite branch is R1. So divided by R1 plus R2. So this is the current branch current formula we can apply. And to find out the the currents in the any part of the network. So similarly, we have come across the very basic uh, rule, which is called as the the Ohm's law. We have come across here. So it's a basic one, and which is very having the practical uh, usage when it is there. So whenever we have the the resistance will connected, that is R. If the current through the resistance is I, and if the voltage across this one is nothing but uh, V, is the voltage across this one. As per the Ohm's law, so V is equal to I into R. So R I is equal to so it is a V by R. So this is the formula. R else R is equal to it's a V by I. 
So this is the Ohm's law where we are going to apply and we are going to, this is having the, the basic law for the any of the circuit elements we are considered here. And similarly, we can find out the, the power across the any a circuit element we need to find out sometimes here. So that is the power dissipation across the circuit elements. We have to find out the power dissipation. So the power P is the thing, but so it is a V into I as per the the power dissipated across the resistance we can call here. So it is uh, P is equal to the voltage into the current we can consider. Or if you substitute the uh, value for the V, V is equal to I into R. So it will become I square into R. The unit for the power is the thing but watts here. And similarly, uh, if you substitute for the I in this one, so uh, if you substitute for the I, it is nothing but uh, V square by R. So watts, this is the different formulas for the power where we are going to use and to find the power dissipated across the any of the circuit elements. So these are the formulas where we are going to use in the uh, the basic formulas we have come across in order to find out this one. And also we are going to see the symbol, some of the symbols for the resistance capacitor and the inductor. Let us see that one, the basic symbols here. So for the resistor, the symbol will be used is the, so it is the resistor as it, it is going to oppose the flow of current. And the, for the capacitor, the symbol is we are going to use the two plates, parallel plates we are going to use. That is for the capacitor. So the unit for the resistance will be denoted as the ohm you are going to denote. The unit for the resistance is ohm. And the uh, inductor, sorry, this is the capacitor C. For the capacitor C, the unit will be the Faraday we are going to use. So it's a Faraday. Usually it will be in terms of the micro Faraday uh, or uh, pico or nano Faraday we are going to use. And for the inductor, we are going to denote the symbol which will be denoted as L. The unit for this one is in the unit. So these are the, the basic circuit elements which you have come across the, the network theory. And in the circuit you are going to use, these are the circuit elements you are going to use. So in the next session, we'll look into the sum of the, the sources, let us see practical and the uh,